I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to 2024, and welcome to a new episode of the Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why today... I'm recording this on my birthday. Uh, yeah, uh, Monday of this week, January 1st, is my birthday. I just turned 45 today. Uh, and so this episode's a little different. Our first episode of 2024 is is a little different than usual because uh, a friend of mine, and also uh, apparently a fan of mine, uh, Lucas, a.k.a. That Lucky Panda, has recorded a cover of one of my songs and as a, as a birthday gift to me. So I'm going to be reacting to that here on the show this week. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, yes, hello, welcome. Uh, I am a comedy musician and I react specifically to comedy music because that's where my field of expertise comes in. Uh, but what that means to you is that I'm going to pause the video kind of a lot actually. This way I'm so I can I can not talk over the jokes and miss them in the song and see how the lyrics and the visuals interact and help amplify the comedy and give commentary and sometimes explain jokes because that's always fun for people and sometimes it's just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're gonna get but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. If you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my own comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let's dive into this. Like I said, Lucas has recorded, actually, two songs of mine. I don't know what they are. That's the thing. I don't know what Lucas has covered here, because... Uh, they sent me unlisted links that just say for Ian, which is super kind and wonderful, and thank you, Lucas, already. Uh, I'm very excited for this. I'm going to be frank with everybody here. Uh, I have always wanted somebody to cover one of my songs. I, it's a weird thing to say and admit, but I'm, I'm doing it here now. Uh, happy 2024. Um, uh, you know, I... I been somebody who's covered a lot of songs and and covered songs of my friends because my friends are comedy musicians and I, I love their work and I respect them and to have somebody kind of feel the same way about my music that I've felt about other music uh, is truly touching honestly um, this is this is something that uh, I never would have expected but I kind of has secretly always hoped someone would do so this is very nice for me um, yeah okay this is a self-indulgent episode kids I'm sorry whatever it's my birthday um, I'm recording this on my birthday you're seeing it on Friday or sooner if you're on my patreon haha -ha, plugs anyway enough dilly-dallying let's dive into this because I'm dying to know what they covered all right uh, Lucas thank you <laughs> okay, okay, uh, this is, okay, so I know Lucas through Game Grumps and Ninja Sex Party fandom, ironically I'm wearing my Game Grumps shirt where Dan shouted me out on the show with the phrase, God bless Insane Ian, Insane Ian knows more about my life than I do, Dan Avidan 2022. Um, so I know him through Game Grumps, uh, fandom and Ninja Sex Party fandom. Uh, Lucas has covered a bunch of NSP songs, but also does fan edits of the 10 Minute Power Hour and stuff, and so I became a fan of theirs through that and found out they were a fan of my cover from the NSP tribute album of First Date. This song is my song, uh, I Bet I Can Eat More Waffles Than You, which is... A Ninja Sex Party style song. It's a pastiche of Ninja Sex Party. Uh, on Game Grumps, they have said that they were going to do. Uh, Dan came, went through a list of unused song titles, songs that were never going to be songs. They were just the idea in the title, and that was all it became. And one was, I bet I can eat more pancakes than you. And uh, I thought that was a great title, but I like waffles better. I have a cat named Waffles, uh, so I like waffles better. 
and I decided to use that also so in case they ever just did decide to do I bet I can eat more pancakes than you um, they still could um, but yes I did a ninja sex party style song in their old style uh, where they used a lot more studio musicians and MIDI sounds uh, than their current style where they've teamed up with TWRP twerp to have the be them be their backing band um, this sounds a little bit more elaborately produced than my version did uh, and uh, <laughs> the let's fucking go is is a definite game grumps nod because uh, <laughs> Aaron started saying it ironically and now just says it all the time uh, I'm so excited for this um, the, you guys, this video is not going to get a lot of views. I already know that because it's super self-indulgent of me reacting to somebody covering me. But uh, I'm super happy about this. It's my birthday. Whatever, man. This is great. Uh, <laughs> I had a, I had a uh, uh, an inkling it was going to be that song from the All Right Wakey Wakey. I don't say that in the opening of my song. That's changed. Um, I'm talking to the person who is waking up with me. Uh, the next morning, um, but I don't use this phrasing or this intro in, in my version. Um, I'll have the my version linked at, in the description as well, and links to these so you can check out these without me yammering all over them. But, uh, man, I'm, I'm excited and I'm, I'm babbling at this point, so, yeah, sorry. Um, also, I'm doing a full music video for my version of this song this year. It was planned to happen last year. I got a whole animated sequence for it. It just didn't happen because life happened in 2023. I'm glad 2023 is over now. Not like, you know, an arbitrary day changes anything, but it does in my mind. Yeah. Anyway. I love, okay, I gotta stop it and, and, and talk more. I love uh, not only the instrumentation here that you've used here, it's, it's heavier on the guitars here, um, but that you kept in the flow that I tried to emulate with NSP songs um, and the backing vocals, the, the, the little asides that we threw in there for the uh, get up and get dressed because you're so very naked, which is almost in the background, almost unintelligible in the original version. Um, yeah, thank you. That rocks. Because um, it, it's just fun to, like, squeeze in as many jokes as you can, even if they're, like, jokes hidden behind the main jokes of the front lyrics, of the, the, the lead vocals. The front lyrics? What the fuck am I saying? Uh, the lead vocals, if you have backing vocals telling jokes too, uh, kind of pulling jokes through in the, in the backing area, in the, in kind of like in, the, like you hear in the back of your head kind of thing because it's, you know, in the background. Uh, I like having layer, layering jokes through that way, uh, in comedy songs because that's such a fun way to write. And I think NSP does that really well and, uh, I try to do that, especially when I'm emulating them and doing a pastiche. And, uh, to have that come through in the cover as well, Wonderful. Oh, hit the little, uh, the tremolo, or, yeah, the, I don't, I want, I want to sound smart, like, I know what I'm talking about with music and stuff, like, with the little, the ooh, 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 I want to say it's a tremolo or an arpeggio or something, something that sounds important and, and music-like, but I don't actually know what the fuck either of those mean, um, but that was really nice, really dug that, L dug the, the ahs in the background, kind of, like, it was me emulating Danny, and now you emulating me em emulating Danny trying to do all that, uh, magical, this is great. Uh, I now see that in the background it's not just a birthday cake, that's probably pancakes, or waffles, waffles, it's waffles. I'm, words, can't anymore. How does that happen on a show where I talk? <laughs> Alright, cool. 
I'm I'm loving this. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for getting the lyric right, because, uh... <laughs> okay, little inside baseball. This whole episode is inside baseball, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the backing vocals line of uh, talking about how waffles look like my abs, uh, I always thought that my backing vocals on that sounded like I said they kind of look like my ass, and I'm glad that uh, you either read the lyrics or heard the lyrics correctly. Um, uh, bravo. Uh, oh, this is... I'm, I'm just so happy right now, guys. Just, I'm digging the hell out of this. This, this... I may be the only one who watches this reaction, other than Lucas. Uh, I'm just, I'm digging this. I don't care. This is just pure joy for me. Thank you. Rewinding it a little bit there. <laughs> a little emoji at the end of Get Sticky. Uh, yeah, excellent. Bravo. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so, and not to, to hear that flow through. Okay, so in the original version of this, I tried to do this as one of the very rare hip hop breakdowns that they would do in in some of their songs. They mostly do it in. Um, oh God, what is the name of the song? I can't think of the name of it now, but what, what the we'll release a flock of doves at the moment of completion. I cannot remember the name of the NSP song, but that was the song that I was trying to emulate with this section. Uh, and uh, this one, you've you've slowed it down a little bit, which is great. Uh, I, I love I love when covers do different takes on the original song, like they change the arrangement up a little bit, or they do it in a different style and stuff. And I absolutely love that. I, I hear little bits of the organ in the background, because in, in my version, there's a lot of, of organ. I had a Bone Cage. Actually, that's not even true. I didn't even have Bone Cage make the music. Bone Cage already had this music made. Uh, and it was called Mitch Murder, which is uh, a, um, a, a, another, the name of another musician on, on line. Uh, they do... Uh, synthwave type stuff and and kind of MIDI synthwave stuff and so this was actually a song that meant to emulate Mitch Murder and uh, I heard it and I was like this is perfect for what I'm trying to do for the NSP thing uh, and so he he uh, sold me the instrumental for that um, but uh, to hear like like little moments of that but also having the guitars brought more to the forefront these awesome backing vocals coming through on that um, just gives it a, a whole new shine and polish that uh, is excellent, and I love it. And uh, the switching up of the tempo on this section, uh, it's not super slow, it's not, it's just slower than the original is a little. Just by a, just by a hair. Um, and I, I dig that. This also, this whole section here, is the animated sequence in the upcoming video for my version uh, that I had animated by Smash Tunes who have animated a few NSP videos. I like to have the synergy there, yeah. <laughs> See, again, that's what I'm talking about, like, changing it up a little bit to kind of like give your own spin on it in a cover. Uh, I say something different there is I like, 
uh, uh, get your mind out of the garden. Oh, you've already started? I gotta catch up. Um, so Lucas changed it to, oh, you already started. Great. Like, just like that, it's a completely different take, it's a completely different tone, but it's still just as funny. I, I kind of felt like I was laughing at my own lyrics, but I was also laughing at the, uh, you know, the little <laughs> emoji eyes that were added to Unlike Last Night, I'll Last for Hours. Um, <laughs> just all the, you know, because waffle carbs give staying power? No. Carbs make you logy. They make you worn out already. So the idea that this narrator has that, you know, oh yes, waffles will give me energy and ability in the bedroom. Obviously not. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, comedy songs. Comedy is funny. So, yes, uh, th this whole presentation with that, and also having them, uh, having the voices, I say them, how, Luke is having the, the the chorus vocals, the, the bridge vocals being sung here rather than rapped is really cool, adding a nice couple of different layers to that as well. Really digging it. Really digging it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, so we've got we've got like a horfing noise here. <laughs> The, the emojis are killing me on this. I don't know why. I know it's just lyrics, but it's it's so great. Uh, <laughs> I gotta reel it back here. I love the harmonies on the one waffle down, two waffles down. That's really really sweet. I really dig that. Uh, I gotta gotta ring it back again. Sorry. <laughs> So many good vocal layers. Okay, I don't know who Doug was, that's amazing. Um, this is a bit more swearing than I do in my own songs, uh, but I have no problem with that, obviously. I'm not a prude. I don't hate swearing in songs. I listen to NSP. I listen to Tenacious D. So I understand, you know, swearing in comedy, and it makes it very funny here. Um, it's really, it's really kind of funny because I don't swear a lot in my own songs, and I try not to swear too much on this channel even, although occasionally I will say some. But, uh, I, it's something that I, I consciously kind of decided to like not do in my songs my early songs my really early songs stuff I did in college I swore up and down in songs uh, but uh, I when I did this version of Insane Ian when I started this version of Insane Ian in 2008 I kind of made this conscientious uh, idea to not swear in my songs so when I was doing a ninja sex party style song a band that is known for swearing in most of their songs. Only recently have they started to tone down the swearing in a lot of their songs. Um, so doing this song without swearing in it was kind of like almost like an extra challenge on top of things for me. Um, but taking it back and like throwing swears into it to make it more of an NSP pastiche while covering me who's already pastiching NSP is great. I dig that a lot. And uh, just this is also kind of like a very NSP thing where they're talking about, you know, you know, except for Steve, because fuck Steve, you know, it's, so having that be Doug in this one uh, is is great. Uh, I, I love all of that. Actually, I think Doug is who they mention in uh, Super uh, uh, Rhinoceratops versus Super Puma. Uh, which is may not even be the right title. I can't words anymore. I can't think of anything because I'm so blown away by this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh God! Insane Ian, put it on the list. So that's a clip from. Game Grumps, where they they have shouted me out several times on on Game Grumps. There's there's another 30 and 20 seconds of of 
thing here, so maybe that's what this is. Uh, yeah. This, I, I made a video about it, because I like being self-indulgent, apparently. Uh, so here's that. Oh, God! <laughs> Insane Ian, put it on the list! Insane Ian, you're the guy, right? God bless Insane Ian. God bless Insane Ian, they said it there. So... Yes, it is my birthday. I did like it. Thank you very much, Lucas. The music in the background uh, of this one uh, is another cover of mine. It's it's my song, Cory Can't Even. So I wonder if that's the following video uh, that Lucas sent me. This one was a lyric video. The next one is just a song. So, uh, yeah. You're gonna... If, if you've tuned out by now, whatever. I don't care. I'm making this video for me and Lucas, basically. Um, Sandy knows more about my life than I do. I'm wearing a shirt that says that. Culinary Conniptions, an Insane Ian mini tribute. Oh my gosh, wait, are there more than just two? <laughs> <laughs> I bet they can eat more waffles than you and Corey can't even. Amazing. Ah, uh, I... I am truly honored and touched by that. That is amazing. A little two song... Uh, mini tribute. That is amazing. A little two song EP. Wow. Thank you so much, Lucas. Uh, and I guess Corey Can't Even is the next one. So we're going to dive into that. Corey Can't Even, another song that I was trying to have a music video for last year and didn't happen uh, and will have in 2024. Uh, you chose two great songs, uh, both from my most recent album, Illinois. Uh, so thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, Man, I'm just, my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. This is, this is great. Uh, the, thank you. Alright. Okay, so, I, I have to stop it right away. Um, this, it sounds like it's from the, um, SDK mix of Corey Can't Even. I did two different versions of Corey Can't Even. There's the album version. And then uh, there's a version that I released on Patreon and eventually wound up on a B-side collection I did last year called Smarm Proof Lobster Cabinet. Um, yes, I know that's a mouthful. Uh, uh, Smarm Proof Lobster Cabinet was named by uh, my buddy Shoebox in Worm Quartet, which is another comedy band. Um, uh, but that was my B-side collection I released last year. Uh, the I released it on Patreon because my producer, Ben, who does all my music, Ben Stahl, um, wanted the song to sound more like Scotty Doesn't Know from the movie uh, Euro Road Trip, I think is from, it's from that. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's a song called Scotty Doesn't Know. It's by a real band, but in the movie, the band is fronted by Matt Damon. Uh, <laughs> but it's an actual band. Um, but uh, the song Scotty Doesn't Know, it's a kind of call and response song. Um, but I was trying more to emulate the band Nerf Herder and their song, uh, uh, Jackie Got Married, with my song, Corey Can't Even. And this song, Corey Can't Even, is written about a person I actually worked with named Corey, who just could not even. Uh, so, <laughs> some of the things in the song apply to Corey, and some of them I made up for comedy purposes. Um, again, it's, I've talked about this before on the, on the show, it's kind of a list song. I'm just listing things that Corey can't even. Uh, so, comedy. It's funny. Uh, but the chanting in the beginning makes me realize that this is more of a cover of the SDK mix that was released on the B-Side EP. Uh, that's awesome. I'm excited. I, I love the instrumentation to this already. This is so good. It's, it, I always thought this was a great rockin' tune, personally, but yeah. So, yeah, there's, I, I probably should put captions up for this, but I don't know if there's even any captions on this, because uh, this is a a, un, a unlisted video. Uh, but, yeah, there's no more ink in the fax machines. Uh, it's, man, this is so good. Uh, 
I absolutely love this. I, I will say, um, at FumpFest this year, um, my concert opened FumpFest, uh, and I opened it by having my buddy TV's Kyle go out in my insane Ian hat that I wear on stage and pretend to be me, and Kyle covered one of my songs. We had planned to cover each other's songs a bunch. Like, I've covered Kyle's songs a bunch already. I've covered two of his songs, and he had always wanted to cover some of mine, but never did, and then I was like, okay, well, this will be an opportunity. You're going to be there. Why don't you walk out, and we'll pretend that you're me, and just do one of my songs, but in your style. So he did my song, Benedict Cumberbatch, and then I came out and did one of the covers of his songs while I was wearing his puffy vest, we did our song, Kyle, Are You Ian?, which is from Scooter Picnic, our band together, uh, traded the outfits back, uh, and then continued on with covering each other for two more songs. I did another one of his covers, and then he covered uh, my song, Luna Sea, from my very first album, uh, and uh, which was great, but like it, we were planning on releasing that as like a little EP of us covering each other, which is great. Um, but to have somebody else uh, do this uh, without my knowledge is great and uh, awesome and humbling and I just feel great guys thanks this is a great way to have a birthday honestly if you can have somebody uh, uh, pay homage or tribute to you by covering your own work uh, I highly recommend it it's 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 getting all the warm fuzzies y'all uh, yeah it's and it's we I, I think it's ironically weird because <laughs> both of these songs are songs that I'm planning on having videos for. <laughs> I I one of the things I'm finding out about listening to these covers is that uh, people who hear these uh, might not want to hear my versions because these are so good. <laughs> but these these are awesome. This is great. Won't ever tell me what it means when Corey can't even. Yes, okay, so I, I know I said in the previous thing that I don't swear in my songs. There are two songs on Illinois where I do use the word shit. I don't think shit is a swear anymore. It used to be. Back when, when Carlin did the seven things you can't say on television. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Um, tits, fart, turd, and twat were added later. They were added in a separate special. But shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker. Those were the words you cannot say on television. Um, I'm probably going to get flagged for it right in this section here. Um, but uh, you, you, you couldn't say those. This, there's seven words you couldn't say on television. And most of them you can say on TV now. You can say shit. You've always kind of been able to say piss. Uh, a couple of those you can't. I'm not going to repeat them now because I, I went through them twice really quickly. Um, but fart, you can always say fart. Tits, you can say tits. You kind of, kind of always been able to say tits. And Carlin always like, well, tits is said like it sounds so innocuous. You know, it's 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 uh, you know new Nabisco tits. It sounds like a cheese snack. You know, <laughs> but. Um, the the those seven words are actually even more than seven with the with the uh, fart turd and twat adding onto the end. Um, most of them you can say now. So shit has kind of like been moved up because I hear shit on like regular TV now. Uh, you hear it on FX <laughs> programs, which is it's still cable, but you hear it. Um, but uh, yeah, it, the, the things have moved on from those words. So I never considered those parental advisory meeting um, when I included them on the last album. Uh, I did it in that song, and I did it in Pictures of You, which is my real big fish pastiche. So, Anyway, we're going to go on with this. Some of the lyrics for this might be a little difficult for most people to understand, um, because uh, just the nature of, of the, the layers of the vocals on this, um, and there's no lyrics on the screen, so I'll put the lyrics for this in the description. Uh, below. I'm proud of this song. Yeah. Can't 
This is a song that, um, I know I just paused it right after I had started it again. Um, this is one of the only songs of mine that I've done with an actual full live band. Uh, my buddy Robbie Ellis did a CD release party for his new album, and for his album he had friends of his come in to cover the songs from the album, and I did his song Pandering to Nerds, because big nerd. Um, so he has a song on his album called Pandering to Nerds, and I covered it, and, but before that, we had, he had them do, uh, the people come on and do their own songs before they did the covers. And so I covered this with the band that was there to perform the rest of the songs. So I actually did this song with a full band. And instead of, like, the guitar solo in the middle, it was, like, a horn solo, which was really cool um, to have that be transcribed to that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that is going to be part of the live music video that is coming out for this song. Um, if you want to hear both of those tracks, those are on Smart Proof Lobster Cabinet. Corey You Can't Even is on that album twice. It's a live version and then the SDK version, the SDK edit. Um, I'm sorry I keep pausing. I just, it's given me a lot to talk about and I'm excited. Let's rewind that a little bit there to get to the... Corey can't even. He refused the vaccine for that disease. And Corey can't even. <laughs> I love, I love having that be a crowd shout, and the world blows up, and now everyone's dead. Um. That line is a reference to a Weird Al song called One of Those Days. Um, the, the song ends with, And the world blows up and now everyone's dead. Uh, but not quite sung quite like that. I couldn't get the tune of Just One of Those Days in my head because I'm hearing this. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it didn't even match this. But uh, I was like trying to do both at once uh, musically and that didn't work. Um, but that line is a reference to that song where a lot of things go wrong and it's a list of things going wrong. Um, and this is a list of things going wrong for Corey, and that's why Corey can't even. So I thought the the putting those kind of two similar ideas together and paying homage to that song while paying homage to another style was a good idea. And Corey can't even, not at all. I'm telling you that and Corey can't, can't even. He's too awful. He's literally incapable to even. Acting dumb. Hero foiled his master plan, ring came off his pudding can. That's a reference to the monorail song from The Simpsons that Conan O'Brien wrote. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to. I figured, like, if we're if we're listing things that have gone wrong, that's just uh, a funny thing to throw in there. Um, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a lyrical reference to The Simpsons. One of the greatest episodes of The Simpsons episode is Marge vs. the Monorail. Uh, uh, written, the whole episode was written by Conan O'Brien, um, and uh, it's, one of the, it's one of the greatest episodes of The Simpsons. One of the best cameos from Leonard Nimoy from Star Trek. Uh, and it's, the, the Monorail song is amazing. It's a very Music Man-esque song. Um, uh, you know, Got Trouble Right Here in River City uh, kind of style song, but uh, it's from the guy who's selling them the idea of having a monorail in Springfield. Uh, uh, but I had to use the, that line in there in the song because it's just fun. I was... I was waiting to see what was going to happen in that section, because I admit myself that he can't even, she can't even, we can't even, I can't even, you can't even, they can't even, they, you know, that whole listing of who can't even in the, in the middle section. It's a lot of breath control, uh, and uh, <laughs> I even had trouble doing it live, uh, but uh, it, was, it was super, super fun to, to write that whole 
fast section in the in the middle there for the bridge, and especially that breakdown at the end, listing all who can't even, uh, and to have Lucas run out of breath there, that's genius, and I love that. That's so good. <laughs> I will up by Michael Bay. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> I love the idea of the narrator of the song just getting fed up with having to list all the ways that Corey can't even. Just like he's he's literally the the little engine that can't even. Like you get the idea. He he just fucking can't even. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> I love that. Again, I love different takes on things when you do covers, and that is truly brilliant. I love that. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that, those of you who stuck around for a half an hour of me navel-gazing. Uh, at somebody covering my songs. <laughs> if you did stick around, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. Uh, go show Lucas some love. Uh, link in the description to uh, these songs by That Lucky Panda. Uh, and check out their channel. Uh, Lucas does some amazing stuff. I keep saying they because it's like... Yeah, I, I keep thinking of That Lucky Panda like a band name. <laughs> Go check out his stuff. Uh, he does great work. Uh, if you're into edits or covers, they, uh, lots of really, really great stuff over there. Uh, and it, just an amazing musician in his own right. Uh, he and I are actually collaborating on a song about Game Grump stuff, kind of adjacently. That'll be out soon this year, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was super exciting. Uh, if you really want to help out the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon like these folks over here do. They get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, their name in the credits, and all sorts of other perks. Anyway, thanks everybody, happy new year, and, uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thanks, Lucas. Rise and shine, beautiful. I've got a big day planned.